Hi everyone, welcome back to another KiwiMD tutorial. Today we're going to go over the MD chip widgets. And these are really good if you want to show the user a couple of options or let them select between a couple. Um, and you can see right here I've got a demonstration of a couple of the variations. So here I just have a label in, in the MD chip um, and it doesn't do anything. Here I've got an icon um, and when you click it, it'll remove itself. And then also here I've got sort of this like selection uh, where you can choose between the multiple items that are in your in your uh, list here. Okay, so let's hop over to the code and see how we can work with these MD chips. First thing as always is my directory. Um, I have the kvmd package copied over and I've got my main.kv and my main.py file. Alright, in my Python file all that I've done is initialize my main app, which is very standard, and I've set uh, my theme underscore CLS variable so that I have uh, colors introduced into my app. Okay, and in my main.kv, I have nothing right now. This is just um, a box layout, uh, so we can go ahead and start editing our widgets. So the first thing we need to do is import MD chip uh, from the kvmd.uix.chip.mdchip module. Okay, now we can go ahead and just put in a chip, and let's see what that looks like without specifying any options. So we run our app, and here we go. This is the default chip with nothing specified. So we have this blank icon and no label. So say we want some text in there. To do that, we use the label option, and I can say, like, hello, YouTube. Okay, and then also we can specify the icon. Icon is just a string, and it's taken from the list of MD icons, which I'll put a link to in the description below, as always. Uh, maybe this will be like, um, Facebook or something. So now if I run it, I have my label here, which is the text I entered, and my icon. So that's perfect. And it automatically resizes, you don't have to worry about that. When I click on it right now, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and specify a callback function. So when you click on it, it will call this callback function. So it's uh, you pass the function in the callback variable here. So I'll say, when you click on it, do app dot uh, was clicked and you don't call the function here that'll give you an error you just pass the name of the function that you want to run okay so you pass the name of the function you want to run to this callback uh, variable and now I have to go ahead and create this was clicked function so I'll go over back to my app class in Python and I'll say def was clicked self and then I'll just take in uh, you have to take in args it passes some stuff so I'll just print args so you can see what comes uh, by default. So now if I run my app again and I click a couple times, you can see here's what was passed to my function, my callback function. So it was clicked, got some arguments, and all it was actually was just the text that was inside the widget. So say I want to pass something more. Say I want to, uh, like I showed in the demo, remove this widget from my list. So now we know that this is just the text of the widget, text of chip. And now I want to pass uh, the widget itself, so chip widget. It doesn't do that by default, but what I can do is I can pass another uh, variable here. And to do that, you need to use the partial module. So I'll use uh, import partial from functools.partial. Okay, and now I can wrap this in a partial call, and I can pass self. So now what I'm doing is, I'll, when I click the widget, I want to call this function and also pass self as an extra parameter. Okay, so now I'm still gonna print, uh, let's see here, I'll print text of chip and chip widget. And actually I have the order wrong, but you'll see that when I, when I run. Okay, so let's run this app again. And when I click here, couple times. Now you can see what's passed is this first one that I printed, which I called text of chip. That's actually the chip object itself. And then hello YouTube is the text of the chip. So I've got these sort of in like the wrong order here. Okay, so that's nice. So now instead of printing, let's actually remove the chip. So I can say uh, self.root.remove widget and then pass the chip widget object. Okay, self.root refers to the root object in my main app class. 
So this is my root object. And root.remove widget will remove any widget. And I'm basically passing this whole chip. So now if I run my app again, <clears throat> we can see what happens. I click here and it disappears. It's been completely removed. So there you go. That's how you work with the callback. Um, and then the last thing to do is specify a color maybe. So by default, um, well by, oops. By default it's this sort of gray color. And maybe I want to pass like app.themecls.primary color. And if I do that, it should be blue. There you are. And if I click it, it disappears again. So those are the four main attributes that you'll be using with the MD chip, okay? Label, icon, callback, which you specify the function, um, and also a color. So that's good. Now let's uh, work with selecting multiple chips. So to do this, we're gonna do uh, MD choose chip. And this is, a, this is a new widget, which basically is like a container for uh, several MD chips under it. So we'll just put in a couple MD chips here. Um, MD chip, oops, no S there, sorry. And maybe label will be option one. And this label would be option two. Okay, so if I run it, here you see option one and option two, and they're automatically, uh, there's this like selected color when you click one. You can of course specify an icon, callback, and color, just like we did before, because these are just the normal MD chips after all. So maybe I want an icon here, and this will be like close, and icon here, and this will be YouTube. Um, so if we run it again, you can see there I have my icon set. And of course, you can have more than two widgets if you like there, more than two chips. So maybe I'll just copy this one. And I'll put here icon to be like plus. This will be option three. Okay, so if I run that, there you see I have my three options. And now the last thing to cover is how to add chips in Python because maybe you're running through uh, your database or something and you've got a bunch of different categories that you want to put into chips. So you need to do it dynamically rather than just statically in the KV code. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we need to do is get our MD chip class in Python. So from kvmd.uix.chip import MD chip. There you go. And I'll just work with the on start function of my app class. So this is a, a built-in function of the app class, and anytime, well, when the app starts up, it basically runs this onStart function. So what I'm gonna do here is just um, add some chips to the root widget. Remember, the, the root widget is just this box layout here. Okay, so uh, we need to instantiate our MD chip. So I'll just say chip is this MD chip, and you can pass the, uh, the attributes here, the variables here, um, except icon you have to do a little bit differently because you'll get an error. So I'll say like label is um, on start, um, and then maybe I'll say like plus string of i, and maybe let, let me do a, a for loop here. For i in range three. Okay, so for i in range three, we're gonna, we're gonna add three chips here. Chip, uh, I give it a label there, and I say chip.icon equals, uh, we'll pick something here like Bluetooth, that's probably an icon. And, and then I'll specify a callback, I'll say a callback equals something like uh, self dot uh, callback2. I'll create a new function called callback2. Dev callback2, self, and then text of widget. And then maybe I'll say just print text of widget. Okay, so the callback tool will be my callback for the widgets that I'm adding uh, dynamically. And the last thing was color. Maybe I'll say color equals, we'll put it to be red, 1001. Zero, zero, one. Okay, so that's the red color. And let's run this. And hopefully we should see three new chips. Oh, whoops. Of course, I forgot to uh, add them to the root widget. So I need to say self.root.add widget chip. Okay, now we should have them popping up. And there you see my three red widgets. Um, and when I click them, 
on start one, on start two, on start zero, you can see that I've printed the text here. So this is how you would add a chip dynamically to, uh, well, in your Python code, and I covered how to do it in the KV code as well. And we went over the main attributes being the label, the icon, the callback, and um, the color. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.